like I said before, probably one of the most important topics that we wrestle with over the summer with young men is this idea of this heart of a woman. You know, most of our guys come in having stories of past relationships or in relationships or trying to figure out what to do with relationships. And I mean, it's so, uh, we look forward every summer to our time with you. And so, you know, really kind of starting off broad brush, you know, what, what do you think uh, a woman needs from a man? You know, not even necessarily specifically talking about a young man, but just in general, you know, what do you think a woman really wants from a man? Well, first of all, I, every summer I've loved walking in mm. to that <laughs> gathering. Madness, yeah. yeah. Um, and I, I've experienced that also, the, you know, the eagerness, but the absolute terror mm -hmm. in everybody's eyes yeah. um, to venture into that whole subject. Sure. And I, you know, I think it comes down to pure and simple. Um, we, as women, want strength mm -hmm. and we want kindness. Mm -hmm. So I, I think when David said in the Psalms, you, O Lord, are strong, and your Lord are kind. Mm -hmm. um, those two together right. in whatever manifestation at whatever point in a man's life with any of the females in his life, that's what we want with them, right. from them, mostly with them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, also one of the major questions that guys ask, um, you know, are recommendations or techniques of, or just ideas of h how does a, a young man pursue a young woman well? That's such a loaded question, <laughs> isn't it? It's, and it has gotten so butchered mm -hmm. in our Christian culture, you know, mm -hmm. um, Christian adjective culture. I, I think the pressure on uh, guys that are brought up in a Christian community, the pressure for them to, you know, pursue well mm -hmm. um, can just be crushing. And I, I kind of want to just go, oh, please, can we, can we first say, you know what, you're fine. You're, you're doing fine. You're going to be okay, mm -hmm. right? I just want to grab the cheeks of every guy I know to say, you know what, it's all right. We're, we're doing better than we know. Mm -hmm. um, Having said that, I think that the word clarity is probably the one that I would offer back, meaning um, you don't have to be clear at all about the future. You don't have to know exactly what it is that you, where you want to end up with this girl in front of you. But be clear with her about what you're doing with her today, this week in the next month. In, in other words, um, if what you want to do is just hang out with her to get to know her, then make sure she understands she that, that that's what you're doing. Right. And don't leave her with an additional question mark of what in the world is going on here because she will take that question and presume a whole lot more from you. Mm -hmm. um, we as women take what we're given and we race ahead and we have a whole lifetime planned. Mm -hmm. Don't let that terrify you, but it's just true. Right. Girls love to dream. Not that you don't love to dream, but we love to dream. Mm -hmm. And so just be very, very careful mm -hmm. with her dreams. Right. And so just help her get her bearings right. with um, I, you know, I want to hang out with you right now. Right. Let's get to know each other. And then, you know, at the next stage, just bring, bring a level of clarity as to the next step, right? You don't, don't get gripped with the fear that you don't know exactly where you're headed. That's right. okay. How can you possibly know? That's what dating is about, right. right? But just some clarity. Just being intentional about saying, this next season is about this. Yes. And this is, these are, this is my intention this is my intention, and would how do you feel about my right. intention? Giving her a chance to respond. Right. That's good. I love the idea of bringing clarity, you know, because I think, you know, definitely in Christian circles, God bless them, but like there's this, um, 
there's this expectation of like, it, once you meet a woman, you have to know if you're going to marry her or not, or don't even go there, you know, and that's a tough way to live, you know, <laughs> especially <laughs> someone that like, tough is, one word. is like, you know, you're, you're not very, I mean, some of you may be very good at relationships, but most 20 somethings I know are horrible at relationships, right. you know, they have very little experience. And right. so to even put that expectation, you know, you wake up every morning going, I I should know if this is the one or not, you know, and you still got a long way to walk before you answer that question. Exactly. And, yeah. You know, and I think it's important what kind of what you're saying, even the opening question of, you know, how does a young man honor a young woman's heart? You know, mm -hmm. and I think with the idea of always keeping the honor part very front and center yes. for a young man to go, yes. I, this is a this is a delicate situation. And I love that you, you know, offer the word clarity. Mm -hmm. You know, I haven't heard that very often. Mm -hmm. You know, but just to be very honest and vulnerable about your intentions. Yeah, Cl clarity not being the same as certainty. Right, right. Right, just clarity about what you're discovering. Right. Yeah, but your word honor is so big. Mm -hmm. um, respect her. Mm -hmm. Respect where she is. Good. Re respect the fear that she has, respect the, if, if she's a girl who has a tendency to want to be the one to take the reins, you mm -hmm. know, you, and, and that may be off-putting to you, but it, she may be somebody you really want to get to know. Right. Honor the fact that um, she needs you to be stronger than her mm -hmm. in that, right? right? Honor the fact that her body doesn't belong to you, mm -hmm. even if she's offering it. Right. Right, be, That's be bigger right. than her author and stare her down, right. and and fight for her honor even in ways that she may not be right. fighting for it. Right, and even more of kind of a practical sub question. You brought it up of, I mean, and guys are want to gonna want to know the answer to this question physically. You know, in a dating relationship, what's you know obviously we want to know where's the line, what's too far, what's right, what's wrong. Um, any practical thoughts on just that? I mean, I know that's a that's you, a big question. You stay so close to the heart of God. Mm -hmm. Just stay so close to His heartbeat in, mm -hmm. on this one, mm -hmm. right? Because that I I'm not gonna come and tell you this is the line. Right. Don't cross yeah. it. But um, the North Star has got to be: Are you more concerned? with honoring her heart and what's being cultivated right. there, mm -hmm. right? And always a sense of permission granted mm -hmm. in terms of where you head next, whatever next level you, the two of you decide on mm -hmm. in terms of physicality. Um, but I think this is where, um, y this is where the kingdom of God is so utterly countercultural mm -hmm. to what it, it's the kingdom of God is not um, immediate easy access to each other's bodies right. recreational the kingdom of God is not that mm -hmm. neither is the kingdom of God what the church culture may be putting on you in terms of abject prohibitions that if you cross lines mm -hmm. then you yeah. have you destroyed out. everything mm -hmm. The kingdom of God is it's a kingdom of honor, of, of beauty, meaning you're fighting for something that's so good, mm -hmm. so good. And so if on the way to doing that, you find yourself in places that you're like, dang it, ah, how did we get there? Mm -hmm. There is always mm -hmm. something bigger mm -hmm. for you in terms of the, the kiss of Jesus, the, right. the robe that he wants to wrap around you and saying, you know what, okay, you, you got a little lost there, buddy, right? right? Um, of course, right, what you're wanting, she's incredible, she's beautiful, but who is she? And who is she to me? And who is she to you? Who do you want her to be in your life, right? right.